think it's an ick when a guy has abs in his like late 20s or 30s and he's not a professional athlete. Oh, good. I'm like, what is Yes. It? Clearly, like, they're overcompensating for something that they have to have, like, 3% body fat. Unless you're making money from your abs, why the fuck do you have abs? Totally. Amen. Because you don't need abs to be healthy. Clip it. Some would say it's unhealthy. It's unhealthy. Well, that's an interesting take right there. So yes, being an extremely shredded bodybuilder is definitely not healthy, but that's why they only do it for a temporary amount of time. They're not shredded year round. But let's talk about something else, you know, in a similar category. So instead of having world hunger, you know, now we have world obesity. Let's take a look at the obesity rates all around the world. Here we go. Over there. Looking pretty bad. And I know I can't be alone on this, but I can't say the word ick. Like my ick is when people say ick, if that even makes sense. Now, I definitely don't think every single person in the world needs to have abs to be super lean to be healthy. Definitely not. You can have a lot of body weight in your frame and still be healthy, technically. The crazy thing is that if you critique them and say that their body's terrible and like being overweight is, you know, unhealthy, whatever it may be, like you're definitely going to get roasted. However, they could say it to you and like roast people who are in shape. But I guess, uh, you know, we're not ready for that conversation.